Hey, the dogs are going crazy already. It's not their dinner time. Not for another hour. It's a new day, it's a new Final Fantasy. Are you guys ready? I'm not ready. <laughs> From what I looked up on this game, they're like, okay, it only takes 20 hours, and then it's cool after that. I'm like, oh boy. Oh boy. Mm-hmm. Launcher. Screen setting. Resolution. Shadow resolution. This game may not boot or gameplay speed may drop dramatically depending on the graphic option. Okay, game. Can I? There we go. Why is this game so quiet compared to the other one? Hold on. Will that intro scene play again if we... just does not change it there's just return what? oh I see we're back to it giving me the wrong controller buttons Alright, let's wait here for a second and see if it'll play that intro scene again. Because it closed as soon as I clicked into the game. So do any of you know anything about this game? Because I don't. Other than people saying it's good after you reach chapter 11. Here we go, it's happening again. I'll even hide for it. It's so quiet though.
I mean, it looks cool. It's a cool setting. Hitman has arrived. We're just uh, here watching the intro. Who knows? All right, there we are. Alrighty, well, oh, easy mode. You selected normal mode to change the difficulty at any time. Press E. Why are you showing me keyboard options even if I'm using the controller? Oh, good to know for when we inevitably get stuck. Remind me to turn myself back on. With the beginning of the end. I don't remember seeing a language option. Prisoners? Merc the hell out of that guy. I'm out of the sea. <gasps> Cute. Basically me. I'm I'm the 
I'm the hot girl murdering people with a rocket launcher. That's what you mean, right? Other, other Barret. Not Barret. So, Hitman, I was saying earlier that people are like, this game's good, but it's only good after 20 hours. Which is about chapter 11, I guess. They're like, yeah, at chapter 11, it's great. And before that, it's just a hallway. Um, and they're like, okay, uh, and yeah, like, the, what else did they say? Oh, they said, battle is really easy for the first third of the game, and then the second third of the game, it's kind of okay, and then on the last bit of the game, they're like, oh yeah, combat's fun for the last third. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Time flows continuously. Watch as your ga ATB gauge slowly charges. Characters perform action by expending charged ATB gauge segments. The action which they perform depend on the commands you select. You can input entire strings of commands and then unleash them all at once. Select auto battle to queue up the set of commands tailored to your situation. Select abilities. The description of each command will be displayed at the top. For now, just select auto battle. Okay. I I know it's not showing. I was I was gonna show turn it on after the intro, but then it dropped me right into combat. So two attacks have been placed in your queue. As you learn new abilities, you use commands other than attack. I don't need commands other than attack. I just need attack. You need to choose the target. When fighting multiple enemies, select your target. You only face one enemy this time, so the choice is simple. Once you have finished your attacks, enter more commands and continue fighting. Note that you will only be able to control the actions of lightning. Saz will fight on his own. Supporting her as he deems best. Good luck! How you fight is up to you. Except, uh, you only have one command right now. Whee! All right, we just press auto battle. We did it. Fall back. <laughs> Not so tough now, huh? Sassy black man. Hey, that wasn't like a challenge now, all right? Hey. <laughs> He's like the exact opposite of Barret. Ah, cute! Ah! 
I can fly already despite being so tiny. Oh my god, I want one. Just a hundred and six percent of three hundred percent up there in the corner. I don't know. Do I have an ability? I have attack and blitz. I can't control, I can't control Zaz, so all I can do is this auto attack. Six potions. We did it. On to the next game. supposed to protect civilians soldier I mean you are sanctum aren't you what are you doing trying to stop the purge why don't you tell me that I was a soldier there's a purge hey where do you think you're going hey. ah! oh my god Chocobo, we just can't catch a break can we oh my god yeah that's a good question Oh my guys, I I can't. Ten out of ten game. Getting too old for this. I love it. This is the best game yet. Instrumented fate took the first steps towards challenging an unjust fate. Standard, no, 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 standard, standard. I think that's what I want. I can never remember. Uh, yeah. You possess an advanced digital journal that autonomously streams information deemed pertinent. Whenever your data log records a new entry, a notice will appear in the upper left corner of the screen. To peruse entries, open the main menu and then select data log. Sure we can get through here. Uh, I need the hill, right? Uh, oh, nope. I guess I'm healed up after that. Blaze Fire Saber, Strength 30, Magic 30. Okay. Oh, this must, yeah, that's that guy's guns. Got a survival knife. Lightning's birthday present. Unicorn Mart, an electronic pass granting access to the Unicorn Mart retail network <laughs> okay uh, the data log a personal gravity control device how do I Is there anything make it make this exclamation points go away? Mm. 
Gunblade is only issued to highly trained soldiers. Why are Gunblades back? Gunblades are lame. They're incredibly lame. Oh, map. Okay. Data log. Events. Chapter 1. Defilers of Fate. Lightning and Zaz Saz are held aboard a military purge train along with a group of civilians destined for exile. In stark contrast to the uncertain and despairing people around her, Lightning appears determined and focused. She seizes on an instant of inattention to disable a guard, and her impressive display inspires Saz and the other civilians to take up arms against the soldiers. After clashing with the army forces, the train crashes to a halt. Uh, Saz attempts to figure out Lightning's angle, but she shows little desire to share. What's driving her? Uh, gameplay basics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just... I can't stand having all these exclamation marks. Auto-talk. Auto-jump. Blue and red. Uh, indicate a, you must operate something or cause something to happen. Skippable cutscenes. You can press at any time to pause the action. Certain cutscenes are unskippable. Yeah. Okay. No more exclamation points, please. Notes. Unremarkable. Stagger point. 300%. Weak to lightning and water. Settings. On. Yeah, there's no, uh... No option here for... Uh, if you want a different language. You okay, buddy? Where's your bird? New save data. All right. And it... Movement feels kind of weird. Is it kind of takes her a step to get going. Many and various enemies stalk the road that you must travel. Upon, the, upon entering an enemy's detection radius, a mini-map in the upper right corner of the screen will flash a warning. Coming into contact with any enemy will initiate a battle. Pop, pop, pop. Easy peasy, just press the auto battle button. I don't know. I'm trying to touch it. The army leaving its toys out now? Let's jump in it. Fixing to dish me already, huh? Well, keep up then. Yeah, movement feels kind of yeah. weird. Don't seem very interested Dang. in our side of the story. It's quite the athletic ability there. And there's no ATB bar in the bottom right, so I'm not covering anything.
All right. I have no idea why they're raiding me on the battle. Who is raiding me on the battle? Honestly. I just full heal after every combat? This place is a what is going on? I mean, I guess the purge wasn't murdering people, though. Not that that makes it any better, but it sounds like we were just being exiled. Which is, I mean, better than being per murdered, I suppose. I suppose it depends on where we're being exiled to. Not wanting to get purged, I get. But taking on trained soldiers? Uh. Better to die than get sent to Pulse. It's hell for the Yeah, well, hell's not sounding too bad. Because this place ain't exactly paradise. Domestic yeah, it's kind of a shithole. Nothing to worry about. Maybe not for a soldier girl, but I'm trying to say, hey, 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 hey! <laughs> Panther on. I moved, so I couldn't get them both. It's staggered. Get it. What does that mean? I don't know. movement just does not feel super great no need to be pushing now well let's, let's get out of my way then wicked fang phoenix down enemy encounters yeah 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 Psycom shock troops and enforcers stagger point 130% 20 chain resistant. Oh, okay, whatever that is. Hunters. It's like the same. Wicked Fang is the rare drop. Ooh, we got the rare drop, boys. Weak to fire and ice. Uh huh. Okay, is there camera speed? No, it's just camera settings. All right. Wait, this is the new save data. This is save over. Yeah, you must be real nice from up there. Look at Saz trying to run away. Fight these guys, Saz. Whoops, that's not the guy I wanted to fight. Oh well. Easy five stars. Whee! Is there anything hidden here? No. Get him! Oh, oh. shit! Not leaving anything to chance with this purge, are they? Well. Farewell, brave men. Huh. 
Who would have thought some guys with tiny guns couldn't destroy a giant war machine? 50 gil! Woo! We're rich! Preemptive strike! Rebels! So much for the element of surprise! Don't you? Isn't that how you pose? That's how we're taught. Item usage tutorial. When your HP begins to run low, you can use yourself to... You can heal yourself using items. Looks like you have some potions. I'm pretty sure I'm fine. Potion works on all allies? Since a single potion heals your entire team, you do not need to specify a target. Using items is a free action, so you'll recover HP immediately without expending your ATB gauge. When you find yourself in a pinch, don't hesitate to use the potion. Remember, even if your allies are still standing, it's game over if the enemy manages to KO lightning. All that sucks. Nice miss. <sighs> Do you like my uh, lightning hair, Hitman? Oh! Bye, everyone. Do we turn back? There's no time. What do you suggest we do? Quiet. Hey, 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 hey! Wait! Uh, no, no, don't leave me! Uh, let go! The hell no, uh, you're my only way out of here! <laughs> no, my, uh, out, uh, 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 hey, that might get us across. Right there. You broke it. You broke my gravity thing. Right? Looks that way. She's pissed. We're so mad. All right. You leave this to me. Data log updated. Okay. Sure game. Suspect citizens of Cocoon were wrenched from their tranquil existence and threatened with exile to the world of Pulse. The purge has begun. The land below is said to crawl with unknown perils and terrified civilians began to rebel against the purge. A revolt occurs on the train transporting... How do I... Okay, okay that's how I changed the page on a controller. Train comes to a halt in the district of the Hanging Edge, now a hellish war zone where soldiers open fire indiscriminately upon civilians. Lightning makes her way through the middle of the conflict, all but ignoring her companion Saz. She seems determined to press onwards, even when the path before her is destroyed by military strikes. That's us. You don't- I already have a Wicked Fang. You don't have to tell me I got another one. That's oh, gonna drive me crazy.
that only hit one. That sucks. Chocobo gunman really fucked up there. Yeah. Hey now. Yeah, what's cancel? Yes. Seems to be in working order. So what's in this shop? Unicorn Mart. Nothing but potions and Phoenix Downs at the moment. Alright. Get in. Oh, he did get in. Don't Not don't mind this slur. It's a soldier too, right? Can't you, like, pull some strings or something? Yes, I can. Deportees, are we? Weapons down. I hate for this to turn ugly. Oh, that guy uh, looks cool. Turn ugly? He wants to kill us without a fight. Time to... Damn. Attack chain tutorial. To initiate an attack chain, first select auto battle or attack from the abilities menu and choose the Psycom Marauder. Okay. See the bar uh, beneath your target's name? That is known as a chain gauge. Keep an eye. Okay. When you attack an enemy, it's chain gauge fails. Hit, hit home and the percentage beneath increases. It's called the chain bonus. The more times you hit an enemy, the more damage it will take with subsequent attacks. Continue pummeling the Marauder, boosting your chain bonus until it's full. He's charging his mana drive! Once the chain gauge is full, one further blow will stagger your foe. A staggered enemy takes greater damage. Chaining attacks to stagger powerful adversaries is essential to defeating them. Be aware, however, the enemy's chain gauge begins to drain the moment it is staggered. Once the gauge is empty, the enemy will no longer be staggered. Alright, easy peasy. Go me! How did Sims go? I'm so hyped for your debut. What is that? Is that like a little Nautilus? Oh, it's a... It's like a ghost bird Nautilus now. One credit chip. Hello, soldier. What's your angle? How did Sims go? Did you make a nice house? Do I get to stop living in my car now? Classified military From the info? amazing game Hunt Showdown. What's the matter? You quit, didn't you? Did you think I'm gonna go out there and just tell everybody oh, your secret? My angle. I'm after the foul sea. I can live in the basement. Nice. I don't have to live in the back seat of my car. Still happy you tagged along. Didn't have a 
choice. That's fine. That's just, uh, that's just free nutrition. When do I get a when do I get a sneak peek at your model? Cool beanie guy. Here. You keep your cool. And they will no, take. don't spoil it for everyone, Got just it? spoil it for me. Got it. What's our motto? The army's no match for Nora. <laughs> that a boy. <laughs> the resistant front. Haha, <laughs> no? Aww. Oh! I get to play cool beanie, bro. Fifty whole dollars. It's all Jover. That makes one of us. should just purge all the children send all the children away it'll be fine uh, this is crazy then take a nap really can i sure and when we're taking a dirt nap you can save them all no well, that's even worse <laughs> no dirt naps today we're all in this together our enemies the cocoon sanctum it's Gomi. Gomi just is an EP girl. Psycom's nothing but a whole bunch of bluster and bullying. They got nothing on Nora. Well, we are the heroes after all. Let's prove it. Yeah. All right. Let's fight these guys. Oh, he just punches things. Ah, uh, best best character confirmed. I know we're all EP all the time. How's things otherwise, Gomi? What have you been up to? Anything? Gotta clear a path out of here. Hand grenade. Just eat and sleep. Don't you work? Aren't you an adult? Let's see. We got a sexy battlefield warrior lady with big gun and this guy 
who's ripped, but he's got a tiny SMG and weird ass hair. Gomi just eats and sheeps. Uh meh. Yo boss, what's the plan? Charge in, guns we punch him. Hey, that's not a plan. That's my plan. Real heroes don't need plans. Oh, oh, it's your day off. Nice. I wish it. What's what's it for me? It's uh, it's my Wednesday. my Wednesday. I still have to go to work even. What time is it? Oh shit, is it time to feed the dogs? Almost. Same plan as always. Hit them hard, hit them again. I like this plan of just hit things. I'm a simple person. And my work's being so fucking obnoxious with, uh, with parking. There's a spot where people park, and then I started parking there on nights, and they're like, okay, we can no longer park there. It's like, what the fuck? Okay, fine. So I chose a different spot where people normally park, and then they're like, no, no parking there either now. <laughs> it's like, do you guys just hate my car? What the oh, yeah. fuck's your problem? I work security at a hospital. But I uh, I work on the night shift, so it's generally, m for the most part, it's pretty calm because everyone's sleeping. It's just the emergency department is going. We had this 15 year old bitch come in yesterday though she was such a spoiled brat you all okay this girl yesterday called the ed or whatever or her mom called the ed and then the girl took the phone from her and she was yelling at the staff and like she threatens the staff she threatens the staff on the phone, like, I'll, gotta, I'll fight you, blah, blah, blah. So when she gets there, we have to be there and stand by and, like, you know, security wander down, make sure she doesn't have... It. She's 15. She's like, yeah, like a minor's gonna have that, like, man, two days ago, we had two 15-year-old girls who were brought in by police and thrashing and kicking, and it took, like, nine people to strap them to a... Uh, bed. I wasn't there for that, thankfully. Don't worry. She's like, yeah, like a miner's gonna do anything. Like, yeah, all the time. She was just a huge bitch. You sure? So, so we're standing right outside the room. We stay outside the room for about 10 minutes to make sure she doesn't try anything after she thinks we left. We're standing out of view. And the nurse finally goes to leave and closes the door like 90% of the way. And it's normal to not close the door all the way. Just in case, like, so they, they don't lock themselves in or barricade the door or whatever. And as soon as the, as soon as the nurse leaves, the girls just, ah, close it all the way, please. It's called privacy. Right, like Jesus low, Christ. We'll clear out the area. 
What a bitch. But anyway, it's fine. I make like 30 bucks an hour. I make $31 an hour on the weekend. I make an extra dollar, whoopee. So, it's pretty good pay. Usually it's not the teenage girls, though, that are causing issues. It's usually older people who are not... They, they don't know where they are, right? They, they're they just disoriented, or they're like, I want to go home, or you're not my wife, and then, like they don't know where they are because they're, they've are they got dementia or something, or, and they're confused. We're not losing to Psycom, you hear me? All right, we gave a bunch of people guns. Cooking meth's too dangerous. Let's see, okay, equipment. Iron bangle. Plus 50 HP, oh boy. I mean, I worked security at the Port of Tacoma before that. I mean, I've got all sorts of stories I could tell you guys. Four stars. Lebro, back us up. Yeah, Lebro. LA bro. Ay ay ay. Cook it, just need to use your bro. I'm not British, that's Kieran. Kieran's the British one. How did how did KDM go, Kieran? The betas are coming. Killed the goat. Holy shit, look at this thing. That is not a tutorial mob looking mob. That look that thing looks rad as fuck though. There's Holy shit. We can't do. Ow! Uh Okay, so the thing is, when I asked you about playing KDM, it's cause someone uh it's cause Inky Bean asked me to play and so I was like yeah we need a third and fourth but then Inky's been having like like their grandma's dying or something so I'm just waiting on that and then we'll play I know but it's more fun with more people. Oh my god. Sneeze. Non-stop sneeze. Stay down. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh no! I told you, didn't I? Thanks, Mom. Moms are tough. Hags are in demand. Mom, no! Mom's are tough immediately fails a constitution save. We're going to survive that drop because we just land on her. Boy, would I ever like to save. Do you guys like my lightning hairstyle? It's an out and out massacre. Most people won't even live long enough to die on Pulse. That was the idea. <laughs> It'd be a little bit hard. Dude, if I could, I don't know anything about art or Photoshop or anything. Otherwise, I would have. I mean, I also did not know this guy existed. I've never played this game before. Execution, masquerading as exile. The only character in this game I even That's know what, what they look was. like was lightning. Relocation to Pulse. How does the government get away with pulling crap like that? And you, you knew this was gonna happen? Like, I would have gotten a PNG of the private sanctum baby chocobo. Psychon, if I knew it was in this game. Corps. Soldiers are soldiers, aren't they? Pulse Foul C and their Lassie are enemies of the state. Tell a soldier to kill an enemy and you really think it's gonna matter what uniform he's wearing? Might have mattered to that one. Couldn't shoot. Got himself shot instead. How about you? Uh, so there's infighting? Say shoot, you pull the trigger. Fine. Forget I asked. I'm pretty sure we're some sort of psychopath. We'll just murder anyone. What? Look at this cool flying centaur. Lucario?
hit him. Nothing about that thing looks like Lucario. We did fight some dogs earlier, though. Stop resisting. We haven't even unleashed the medium sized guns yet. Sarah. Just what you were looking for. Yeah. Right in there. The post file C. Huh. I don't know what you're talking about. Foul C, Lussy. Bussy. Come on. Don't worry. We'll be okay. Mom. <sighs> There's a cave woman for some reason. She's like way more primal looking than everyone else. She looks like she belongs on the savanna. It's too much, isn't it? Face it later. Uh. Ciao. <laughs> hey, wait. You said it made you happy when I smiled, didn't you? But really. I was afraid. I don't know. I was. I do not know. Afraid. Give children guns. Yes, I agree. Give all children guns. So, how do you figure that post file scene is different from the sanctums? Mm. All things being equal, I just as soon keep one. Look at it! Oh my god, it's so cute! Gimme, 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 Remember when he broke it earlier? Like, what if she had just forgotten and, like, snapped her fingers and was like, all right. the others they didn't die they couldn't have died of course not they couldn't have they're immortal hey get a grip man what's wrong with you get him home Get who home? Him! That guy was not watching where he was going. Me that. Catch. Private Ryan. What are you doing? So what are you afraid of, huh? You're supposed to be the hero. Probably was drunk. She's waiting there, ain't she? Your lovely bride-to-be? 
Isn't it about time you picked her up? Yeah. What is that thing? Is it is it like a building? Is it like a warship? Is it supposed to be a like a gigantic alien creature? <laughs> There's our ride. <laughs> now you're talking. Everyone's all right. Yeah, they're fine. Standing there ain't gonna stop us. Obtained a what? Power circle. Strength up. MP down. No one needs MP. MP is overrated. The Falci awaits. I don't know, my favorite part was like, the ending of 12 was like, how could, they're using that weapon, like again that they just used is like sh oh how shocking Babby missiles. Run faster. Yo, don't go rushing in on your own. Yeah, good doll. A hundred bucks. I was like, I like how he's just staying behind cover. He's like, go! But he doesn't move. He's just like, you got him. You got this. Peasy. Is there anything hidden back here? No. Nope. <coughs> Excuse me. That's a sad sound. Where's the soul? Yeah? If you don't know who you've got to save, you just protect them all, right? Makes sense. That sound logic. Something on your mind? You got plenty of time for thinking on the way, hero. <sighs> yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Don't shoot. Snow. <laughs> Where's everyone else that fell and survived? Surely you brought them back with you. I gotta feed the dogs. So, you really managed to use that thing? I think I'm done. You're done when we are. You're done when I tell you you're done. Didn't you have something to tell him? Yeah. All right then. But I. I'll go with you. Go confess your love. Oh, you have no idea what it was like. Oh. Everyone safe? <laughs> the, the army's, army's no, no match, match for Nora. Nora. I meant the kids. <laughs> <laughs> All accounted for. These fucking anime characters. Anime was a mistake. Swing by the vestige. Keep the kids out of trouble. You got it. I'm going to get smokes and milk. I'll be back in, <laughs> you, go you know, chasing. just a few minutes. I take care of the kids. Some husband. <laughs> Dinner's on me. I, I don't know. It's a good way, question. <laughs> well, don't worry. None of you are invited. We're still going. Hey, you you serious? What about me? Catch you later. She looks so out of place compared to everyone else. Why? Oh no, I have to be this kid? Oh. Into the vestige. I don't want to be this kid. Hope. Airwing. Passive abilities, critical shield. You wanna... Is there a way I can scroll down to see what that ability does? No? Can I see it over there? No. What is the 13 days? Day 13, exile. A falci of pulse origin was discovered within a vestige on the outskirts of Bodum. Two days previously, having apparently spent centuries in hibernation with humans none the wiser. The Synctum deemed its potential contamination by pulse magic a risk too great to overlook and immediately enacted legislation permitting the pulse uh, an involuntary removal of the falci from the entire population of Bodum from the cocoon. The Portis were told that they would be transported to Pulse. Yeah, you know, why is... I don't understand. History and myth. Resting in cocoon shadow, the sprawling and enigmatic lower world of Pulse is home to a multitude of terrors. Land is commonly believed to be inhospitable to human life, and a strict ban on interworld travel forbids citizens of Cocoon from venturing there to challenge the hypothesis. Not even members of the Sanctum's upper echelon can claim to have seen the surface with their own eyes, but attempted invasion by the world's savage army several centuries ago is well documented. Oh, widespread fear and repeated assault uh, persist among the populace even today. Colloquial references often likening the world to a manner of living hell. Okay. Falsi are an existence beyond human comprehension. Okay, so that thing is a, like, weird creature. 
possessed of incredible magic power, the ones responsible for Cocoon's construction and protectors of humanity. But there are others of their kind as well, the Falsi who dwell on Pulse and name themselves enemies of the Cocoon. Humans who encounter Pulse Falsi are cursed, being turned to Lussi <sighs> in order to destroy Cocoon. It is for this reason that most ordinary citizens support the Purge. Anyone who may have come into contact with one of these Falsi represents a dire threat. Couldn't they explain this to me in-game versus forcing me to read it? From her lofty seat, the world of Cocoon has long enjoyed tranquility. The interior of her spherical shell supports several sprawling cities and population numbering in tens of millions. Ow! Kappa fell on me. The lore is in the game. I... Yes? Sure? Uh, although a variety of dangerous beasts prowl the wilds, advanced technology and the protection of the world's falsy keepers ensure residents a peaceful and prosperous existence. Travel to the lower world of Pulse is forbidden, but given their deep-seated cultural fears of the place, Cocoon citizens would not even think to venture to the beyond the paradise they know. A relic of days before the War of Transgression, the Hanging Edge is located near Cocoon's Outer Rim. The area was once a thriving urban center, but residents were forced to abandon the location when an attack by Pulsian forces cracked the Cocoon shell during the conflict several centuries past. It was designated a restricted zone uh, with civilian access prohibited. Soon became nothing more than a name on local maps. 13 days, day 13, exile. Peaceful citizens of Cocoon live in constant fear of the Pulse. Uh, were even a single agent to be discovered on Ca Cocoon, panic and civil unrest would be sure to follow, threatening the very fabric of society. To prevent a calamity, the Sanctum, Cocoon's governing body, initiates the Purge. A government initiative uh, officially entailing the deportation of all those who may have come in contact. Purge is a Sanctum initiative. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, relocation is simply a fake aid to cover uh, the massacre that ensues. The government's true goal is the brutal extermination of all possible threats to a peaceful society. Having discovered the horrific tru s truth, Snow and members leads in members of Nora against the government soldiers of SICOM. Inspired by the actions of this handful of brave young men, uh, inspired by the actions of this handful of brave young men and women, the beleaguered citizens take heart and join the fight. Among the citizens who stand against the forces of Psycom is a mother who wishes for nothing more than to protect her son. Cocoon citizens have waited, have always been. Cocoon citizens have always been terrified of Pulse and the mysterious horrors that are said to stalk the hostile wastelands. Their fear is so great that if a Cocoon native were to have even the briefest contact with Pulsian elements, former friends and neighbors would consider them corrupted and dangerous. In light of this fact, the Sanctum orders the purging of Bodom in an effort to remove all potentially Pulse-tainted victims. Accordingly, soldiers round them all up and inform them of their exile. However, Psycom, an elite arm of the Sanctum military, then begins to massacre the civilians. This prompts Snow and the people to lead uh, a rebellion against the army. One of the civilians decides to follow him, hoping to protect her son, dies. From afar, the boy witnesses the moment of his mother's death. Massive object is transported through the sky over the hanging edge. This object is a pulse vestige, a lower world artifact that had been nothing more than a Bodom landmark. Two days ago, it was discovered that the vestige housed a long, dormant Pulse Falci. The Falci slumbered undisturbed on the outskirts of the city. 
for different reasons, Lightning and Saz are also going there. Snow is meanwhile crushed by the feelings of guilt after many die under his command. He and Galdo uh, reminds him that the Fauci is holding a certain young lady captive. Snow still can't shake his guilt! Despite the efforts to protect the Purge uh, deportees, the Sanct of Forces, many have fallen. Death of one woman in particular haunts his thoughts, a mother fighting for the sake of her son who gave her life to save Snow. In the moments before her death, the woman begged the leader of Nora to take care of her child, but slipped from Snow's grasp without revealing the boy's identity. With Godot's help, Snow breaks out of his depression. Figures if he just goes ahead and protects everyone, then the problem solved. <laughs> Easy. After checking to see if the children are safe, Snow leaves the battle uh, with his fellow Nora members and sets off to rescue his fiance. Uh, okay, everyone got all that? Alright, I hope you guys got all that lore. You okay? I want to tell him. It's just that... I hope you firmly understand the grasp of the story so far. Say, you know how to fly this? Yeah, I think so. Alright! <laughs> In you go! <clears throat> that way! Yeah, nothing could go wrong if we just follow him into that thing. No, no. Huh? If we go in there, that thing could... It could make us Lassie. Uh. This is... I don't think I can... You can do it. Uh. What are you two doing? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> the fucking running straight at you meme. Didn't get it the first time I played the game, now you're sure you got it even less. Alright. Perfect. Get back here! You hear me? Hey! Uh, that girl is almost definitely from the lower world. I think. The pulse fell sea. It held our future. And our fate. Boy, would I ever like to save my game. So you've played this before, Hitman? Did you finish it? Have you played the whole trilogy? She is definitely, like, not a normal person from Cocoon, right? She's from the lower world, or she's, uh, Lessie, Just or Falsy, or... Expect? Something. Even soldiers know not to go near the Falsy. You become a Pulse, Lassie, and you're finished. What do you mean, finished? Haven't you heard, Miss... Vanille. Huh? My name. And yours? Hope. <sighs> Thank you. Played it, you finished it, you played the whole trilogy. Well, since but didn't finish the last one. Let's look around. Uh... Oh, 
Check this out. Hey, Vanille, where are you? Well, that's uh. The fuck is that thing? Why is it there? It seems so out of place. Like, of all the stuff that's here... That doesn't seem like it fits that's with the setting. The oh, fuck? It's just a bunch of yo-yos on a stick. Treasures? My god, you run like a girl. Can I make the map bigger? Doesn't really seem like it. Shrouds. Oh, hey, there's there's a map. There's Are you our sure wreck. This is the right way. No, that's right where we wrecked. Shut up. Ass whip whip is bizarre. I thought this place What is this thing? Binding rod. High tinsel wire is this unusual weapon you could be used to attack opponents from a moderate distance. For centuries, the Pulse Balsi has slumbered undisturbed in the outskirts of a cocoon city. On the day the lower world entity is finally discovered, Cocoon's peaceful society is plunged into chaos. The government judges the city's inhabitants to have been tainted by their unwelcome guest and begins a merciless campaign to expunge both the Falsi and the corrupted citizenry from the face of Cocoon. Instead of the exile, they were led to expect the civilians face extermination at the hands of the Sanctum Army. People attempted to fight back, but are hopelessly outmatched by the military. Lightning cuts her way through the battlefield, doggedly followed by Saz. Snow, meanwhile, seeks to rescue his fiance, and a boy, spurred on by dreams of revenge, pursues Snow with the help of an unusual young lady. Though driven by separate goals, their paths all lead to the same end, the Pulse Falsi. Apparently, we're on Chapter 2. Hope has fallen into a panic. I mean, he ha—he hasn't seemed particularly revenge-driven, or panicked, or anything. In his single-minded pursuit of snow, he's rushed into the lair of a falci and is only now recalling the terrible nature of the being that lurks within it. The Pulse Entity Entity could use its power to curse them and turn them into Lassie. Pulse Lassie are the doomed servants of the falci who created them, despised and feared by the people of Cocoon. Hope's companion, Vanil. Uh, seems unconcerned by the dreadful possibilities, bemused by her indomitable cheeriness. She nervously follows in her search of Snow. It was Snow who convinced his mother to 
fight. It was Snow who she was protecting when she died, and it is Snow who must be made to pay. <sighs> the beings known as Falsy possess the power to enthrall unwilling human instruments, compelling the victims to serve their will. These individu individuals, known as Lassie, are marked with indelible brands. They gain the gift of magic, but they also bear the burden of completing a task known as known as a focus for their Falsi mas master. Pulselessy, tools of the Falsi from the world below, are considered dangerous enemies of Cocoon society, as there are no means of removing the, the Lassi brand and the curse thereby imposed. Pulselessy are hunted relentlessly. This is just a locale. I don't want to read it. central government I am okay no we're supposed to be empty look at these little amogus guys look at these little sus amogus guys we are there's not really any other option all right I'm gonna fight these dogs and then I'm gonna go feed my dogs This kid's only got like 150 HP. Let's see. Uh, yeah, 70 compared to our 350. All right, I will go feed the dogs. The only thing you need to know is that they hate you. There's a rebellion and everybody, everyone in the party is friends with at least one other member and hates one other member. Okay. <laughs> Good synopsis. All right, I will feed the dogs and be right back.
Okay. Okay, we back. Everyone's been fed. Even me. Those aren't stairs. I opened this, right? Surely I opened it after killing those Amoguses. Aggression and preemptive strikes. All enemies guard areas limited by their fields of vision or other means of detection. Upon entering the guarded area, there's a chance that they'll take notice. If your trespass is unobserved, a warning icon will appear over the heads of enemies alerted to your presence. They will become hostile, taking up defensive positions or rushing to attack. If your party leader comes into contact with an enemy, battle will start. If the enemy is caught off guard, though, certain enemies, like Scandroids, have extremely narrow fields of vision. Can easily be approached from behind. Man, I, like, walked right into the back of some enemy earlier, and it was nothing. She hits all of them. Oh, that's pretty good. <sighs> Rest in peace, little red sus. And over. Where do we go now? No day training now. Come on. Get them! Beat them senseless! I'm tougher than you thought, huh? <laughs> yes, yes, little girl. Hi. Did you have a good dinner? You spent all day curled up with Grandma on the blanket. Did you have a good day? Scared? Yeah, little guy. Hi. Not so much. You're so soft. You really don't get it. Mm. Hmm. Case Falsy and Lissy are bad news. That's why Cocoon kicked them out. Live too close to the Falsy, one way ticket to Puff. That's the purge in a nutshell. If they catch us here, they'll purge us too. And What's then. What's your problem? What's my. Pulse is hell on earth. Hmm. She's definitely from Pulse. Mm -hmm. We'll be okay. Calm down. Get off me. <sighs> Sarah! Huh? Can you hear me? Where are you? Don't worry, Sarah. Your hero is on his way. <laughs> Wonder what that's for. One 
second here. Anything hiding back here? Is that that's not a thing? There is a treasure chest hiding behind me, though. Two potions. Stairs to nowhere. So where's the flying motorcycle thing we came in on? did do that. You could do that with L2, apparently. Let's get him, chat. No, there was no walk today. It's rainy now. It's raining. You don't want to go out in that. More so, I don't want to go out in that. No problem. Thanks. This is my lightning hair. No one else commented on it. They're very rude. Thank you, Chunners. Everything's moving. How do we even know what we're doing up here? Nice. Get the big payday. Uh, I think the door is winning. Why didn't I listen? Uh, beg your pardon? It was me. It was me! It was me all along, Austin! Beg your pardon. Cover your ears. Huh? Oh, oh, blast charge? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. All right, hold, hold, hold. All right, go for it! Make it happen! I'm so sorry. Please let me in. Please? Asked politely. Dude, I didn't know Saws existed. I couldn't have done that. Like, I didn't know. I didn't know he existed. I will put the baby bow on my head if you could find one. Trouds are special single use aerosols that can be used outside of battle and grant tactical advantage. Fortisol and Aegisol bestow their bonuses at the start of battle. Deceptisol, on the other hand, shields the party from enemy detection. 
eliminating any concerns of being spotted or attacked. It is useful for avoiding combat or launching preemptive strikes. Enemies like Pantherons who fill the vision allow them to monitor wide areas, normally turn hostile and display warnings. Apply a apply Deceptisol and you'll have no trouble. Press tab while exploring, select a shot with the button and use it. Shot effects wear off after a brief duration. One Fortisol. Cast Bravery, Faith, and Haste. Filters. Oh, that thing. Amogus. Too many exclamation points. It's triggering me. Amp technology. Antimatter manipulation principle. Okay. Wait, what was that last part? Humans ordinarily lack the means to wield magic, but through the use of mana drives, it's possible to synthesize the effects. Okay. The, to the citizens of Cocoon, the lower world of Pulse is a hell rife with unknown terrors. The recently discovered Pulse Falsi is an invader from that hell. In an effort to quell the growing panic, this game is made to trigger people like you and me. Uh, the, the outrage is real. I didn't know. I could have had the cool flat afro with a baby bow on it. In an effort to quell the growing panic in the wake of the ent entity's discovery, the Sanctum initiates an extreme measure known as the Purge. Under this initiative, not only is the foul seed to be cast out of Cocoon, but all of the citizens living nearby as well any person coming into contact with the lower worlds lower world beings foul energies could already be corrupted and no potential enemies of cocoon can be allowed to remain the ensuing deportation claims the lives of countless citizens hope's mother among them uh, after witnessing her death and chasing snow into the vestige in a blind rage like again he didn't seem like angry at all uh, Hope suddenly realizes that he may soon share the same fate as the Pulse Falci relocation to the world below. Vanille, however, calmly accepts the situation and lends her support to the distraught boy. Unaware of his young, unaware of his young pursuers, Snow is exploring the arcane halls and chambers of the shrine-like vestige in search of his captive fiance. The Pulse Falci, an entity that threatens the peace of Cocoon society, holds Snow's fiancé captive. As the determined Snow delves even deeper into the alien structure, Lightning and Saz arrive at the vestige after fighting their way through the waves of Sanctum forces. The unlikely duo's progress is halted by an impassable gate finally opens as if in response to lightning's whispered words of apology did her plea reach the mind of the falci was uh was another being responsible for opening the portal saz follows the ex-soldier into the vestige bemused by the lack of explanation but driven on nonetheless by a purpose he has yet to reveal there you go. Stopping off on your own. yep that's me I'm invisible!
picking fights, right? Gimme. I can't open it while I'm invisible. Whatever, we'll just murder these guys. No treasure chest left behind. Gladius. No. Robotic death machines. Fantastic. I survived 5 HP in a dream. He did it, Saz. Hmm. No, I didn't. Around, might be some soldiers trapped in here, too. Except they'd probably be La by now. Huh? Not even human anymore. This pulseless sea. Enemies a cocoon. Can't show him any mercy. Look, if, look, Karen, you make me, you make me the afro with the baby bow on it, and I'll make it work. There's the next one. He'll never know if I walk slowly. Oh. Never mind. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, I've got faith in you. I've got 100% faith. Guess I'll just touch this thing. Alright. Hang on, baby. Your hero's on the way. How does he have any idea where he's going or what these buttons do or anything? He 
is here. Calling himself a hero. He's coming our way. You know, the one... Well, what should I do? Could try to explain Tell it to you, but it's 85% bullshit. <laughs> But nothing I say no, I'm pretty sure the baby chocobo is, like, way too small to even be a baby chocobo. Like, aren't their eggs alone, like, much larger than that? We've seen their eggs before. <sighs> Data log updated. Military weapons stock the halls of the vestige. Though the Psycom recon team that recovered the lower world bean two days previous is still trapped inside, Lightning and Saz know that the real threat is not part of the Sanctum Army, but the Pulse Fussy and its servant Lissy. Pulse Lissy are former humans who have become agents of destruction. Yes, how many times are you explaining that to us? These residents living near the vestige face being purged simply because of their proximity to the Falci and the possibility that its power has bound them into servitude. The tales of the sea haunting uh, his thoughts, Hope hears Snow's voice calling in the distance. Although he plans to comfort Snow over his mother's death, confront Snow over his mother's death, the reality of the situation becomes too much for Hope to bear. He can't go through with it. Day 13, Exile. Day 11, Discovery. The Bodum Vestige was a minor local landmark paid little regard. That changed on this night when Psycom discovered that the relic's long-sealed entrance had somehow been opened. Confront him over his mother's death. A recon team was sent inside, uh, reporting the discovery of the Pulse Falci. Reporting the discovery of the Pulse Falci uh, before communication links suddenly went silent, deeming it probable that soldiers had been made lissy. The Sanctum then resealed the door to the Vestige, trapping the team inside. The following day brought public announcement of both the discovery and plans for the purge. talking about <laughs> she wasn't that kind of terrorist she was a different kind of terrorist oh shit She's like some weird tribal girl. There's no leveling up in this game so far. I can't loot this. Is this... Isn't this where we came in? don't have anything but attack. Look, there's no XP or anything. A 
Fortisol. Uh, it's pink because the uh, the character's hair in this game is pink. I didn't buy the expansion DLC. It's actually been forever since we've even played as the main character. The experience DLC. Rin Pisces showed up just to say that they were dead. Can we take it a little slower? A hundred gil? No, we can't. We're in... We're in, like, doom territory. Those must be the Lassie. No wonder people are scared of them. What are they? Lassie, Lassie who failed. Lassie that failed. When Lassie don't complete the focus the Falsi gave them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's even these odds. Snow is awesome. <laughs> what a bro. I that I didn't know Saz existed. I'm pretty sure I th I think I know he is Punch Man, okay? That's part of it, for sure. I didn't know Saz existed. I'm pretty sure I can make my character bald. We just have to have a... We just have to have a, a cutout of the afro. I'll put it on if I find it. You'll be home in time for dinner. You... Wait! Who's Sarah? My wife. Future wife, that is. She's a pulse, Lassie. No. She's here somewhere, along with that foul sea. I gotta find her and set her free. What's wrong with you? Why do you want to help Lassie? They're the enemy. Huh? How can you save Lassie? You're not... You're not... That's insane! Look good with the pink hair. <laughs> Probably. You don't think I'd look good we with the flat afro? Right? I'll be back. Uh, should we wait around for him and hitch a ride? I'd rather go to Pulse. Why is this happening to me? When they found the foul sea the other day, we were just visiting Bodum. But the army took us, threw us on that train. Because of that guy, Mom is. What do you mean, because of that guy? Probably shouldn't leave them alone. And he wants to help Lassie? Who's the one that wanted to go to Bodum, right? Probably you. <sighs> hey again. Hey. Could I this happen to me? You gotta talk to him, hon. If you don't take this chance, you regret it forever. Let's go. 
can't believe I'm in love with the enemy. It's awesome. What's gotten into you, soldier? Thought you came for a fight. My sister. Your sister? She's a lassie. What? A pulse lassie? The Falsi has her captive, but I'll find her. Uh, is she still... Hey, is, is that also Sarah? Focus? When she became a Lassie, what did the Falsi order her to do? Uh, it wasn't blow up cocoon or anything like that, was it? What was it? Ask. Listen to me. When a person gets cursed by a foul sea, they become a lassie, and they get given a focus, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tracks. How do I put this? If they don't carry it out, lassie end up as one of those things. Noted. What I'm saying is, if your sister's gone that far, I mean, she might still. How, how can I? Oh, man. There's no way to turn a Lassie back into a human. Even if she completes her focus, there's no changing her fate. She'll live her life as a foul sea slave. <sighs> Don't make her suffer. Just say it! Any Lassie, anyone who might ever become a Lassie should be wiped off the face of Cocoon. It's people like you that started the purge in the first place. <gasps> so, that's a seed, huh? Treasure, please. Strength plus 20. Seems good. CF. When a Falsi makes a, takes a human to become one of its Lassie servants, that person is given a focus to be completed. Should the Lassie fail to fulfill this focus uh, before his or her brand advances to its final stage, the Lassie becomes a CF. Mired in eternal sorrow and regret. And robbed of all free will, Seath are damned to wander the world, unliving and undying, until their corrupted flesh is at last can be moved no more. For Seath, there is no salvation. They look like uh, Resident Evil mobs. That's easy. Let's see. Tear of frustration. I'm compelled to do this marathon. I mean, if these are the soldiers that came in here, that was only like days ago. What were they given that they've already turned into this? Oh, 
Okay, camera, calm down. Uh, so you said you beat the goat in KDM. Was that like the, uh, the antelope? The screaming antelope? Have you had any does, uh... Oh, I asked if uh, the goat was the screaming antelope in KDM. Have you had any disasters, like any permanent injuries or deaths? We were doing like real well and we had like no one die. And then like one person died on one hunt. And then we came back and my friends rolled like a plague. And then like three more people died in the plague instantly or something. All the women are dying in childbirth. Well, that one looks a little tougher. I'm sure it's fine. Oh my god, Okar. Oh, oh my god, that's the best. Wait, can I request one more? I need I need one that's like my my hair hair blue. Yes, I I I have it open, so I saw it immediately. Oh my god, they look super good. Uh like yeah, like we, pr we probably need a gold one, too, actually. Since that's an actual color. But, like, the, the dark blue. The, the, the color that my hair normally is. Oh, my God. I'm going to have those on stream tomorrow. It actually looks so fucking good. These things sure die extremely quick. If only we got XP for them. Yeah, that's probably blue enough. Two of the big ones, huh? Stagger went all the way back down. That sucks. Oh, oh god. I'm 
Thanks, Tiny Barrett. Man, there's like a spring sound in the sound background music, and it's just like, it's so... Shambling CF. Ghouls. Gas. Oh, look at the face there. That's cool. Like, what's with the spring, like, cartoon spring sound? <gasps> oh, that's so funny to me. That's a pulse brand. That girl's a Lassie. Yeah. Sh w I already told you. Yeah. <laughs> we pulse Lassie are the enemies of Cocoon. So they should die? Listen, if she fails her focus, you know how that'll end. And killing her is a mercy? You came. <gasps> Sarah! Lightning's never met this guy before. She's like, what the fuck are you doing to my sister? <laughs> Let's get you out of here. Hands off. I'm taking her home. Sis. I'm, I'm not your sister. You couldn't protect her. It's your fault. You she can save us. Sarah? You can save us. Or protect us all. Save Cocoon. Save Cocoon? Sarah, that was your focus? Anything. I'll do anything. Leave it to me. You'll see. I'll protect Cocoon. I'll save everyone. Somehow. I'll make things right. You just relax. Yeah. We got that now. Uh, Sarah! Make us fight her. Make her the boss mob. Eternal life? Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams? Is it? She's not sleeping! Sarah's. She's. Like, is she like cryo? She's alive! No. The legend. Remember the legend! Is she like suspended? Lucy, fulfilled their focus, turn to crystal, and gain eternal life. It's the same or did they Sarah. suck her soul eternal out and send her dead. to heaven? Sarah's my bride to be. I promise to be hers forever. I don't care how many years I have to wait. It's over. Open your eyes and face reality. Shoot her and see if she shatters. I don't have to shoot her. I could just punch her. We have Punch Man. Really mean losing everything? Oh, 
I mean, she's just floating, so we could just pull her out, right? Lightning wants to take Snow's punch fan roll. The target is almost in place. Surface team, what is your status? Good to go. Resistance is under control. The assault proceeds as planned. Leave no trace. The pulse vestige never existed. I thought they were just gonna like drop this whole thing into pulse, but like they're shooting ropes and stuff into it. Must be a sanctum strike. Bring down the vestige in the foul sea right with it. Aren't they taking it back to pulse? That's what the patch was, right? All they care about is getting everything from pulse off cocoon. Dead or alive, it's all the same. Yeah, why don't they just drop it? You can't stay. And if they're gonna shoot it, why are they shooting it with harpoons? Harpoons. We're gonna hop on this crystal wife and just surf her out of here. She's the airship now. I'll be right back. Hold on. Trench coat. Where you going? Day with the foul sea. Got some things to talk about. What? You gonna ask it to help her? <laughs> Are you out of your mind, kid? That thing wants to chew us up and spit us out. Well, what do you want me to do? Yeah. Get angry. Don't accept those lemons. Lightning? Here we go. Where are you guys going? What? You guys didn't want to fight things? I was gonna fight things. What do you mean that? I mean, there's no XP, but we could just fight them for fun. I want to change the leader. Data log. Crystal stasis. For Lassie, successful completion of a focus holds the promise of eternal life in a peaceful slumber of crystal stasis. Or so the legends say. Yet to spend an eternity as an immobile crystal is not so very different from death. The people of Cocoon consequently fear being marked as Lassie, equating the Falsi's brand with a death sentence. Faced with the only choice between eternal damnation as a CF and eternal imprisonment in crystal, it comes as little surprise that many Lassie decry their fate. So this is the foul sea. Is it? Looks like a machine. Sarah's a crystal now. You gave her a focus, and she did it. You got what you want. Now let her go! Please, turn her back. I'll be your Lucy instead! Fine. You go on begging, like this thing gives a damn what we want! Lightning! Are they... It's this thing's fault the purge started, and it's people who are dying. Sarah told us to save Cocoon. 
That means this thing needs to die. Is that is that it? Or is it inside of that? Lightning, why are you using a dinky sword when you have a gun in your pause profile? Does she have a gun in her pause profile? Uh, we angered this ancient god thing. Dodge and dodge. Ah, there it is. As long as you don't mind an amateur. I've got these things. Might as well use them. Thanks. Help! No, my ATB bar. Oh. I can't stop now. It is one of those games where if the main character dies, it instantly just ends. That's the thing. I was like, oh man, if I hit, if I hit attack and then I get hit and I need a potion, like I just have to wait. Skip, skip, skip. What's the button to skip on the controller? Absolutely. I'll take it. Magical protection. None of us know any magic. Uh-oh. Oh shit, I'm out of... I was already I locked into an attack. <sighs> I can't control anyone but lightning, so I can't tell anyone else to potion. We had that other... Uh... The other character, the lady, the lady with the gun with snow, she would automatically potion the party. Um. 
But I don't know why she would versus anyone else. I can't control anyone but lightning. It's very limited. I can't. Like, see, I can't tell it one. I can't tell it like one attack and item. You're either all in or you're not, Doctor's Code. You're full send or you're not. Which it's kind of weird because they described potion as free action. So if you use the potion, it doesn't take any ATB gar gauge. It it stays full, but you can only use it when it's full. So if it doesn't use the ATB gauge, why can't I just use it whenever? sexy for modern audiences. <laughs> So we're like two hours into the game, two and a half hours into the game. I hear there's only 17 more hours until the game gets good. Or fun to play or whatever. I don't know. That's what people say when I uh, tried to look up a little about it. When I couldn't see a future and I was afraid, when the future was clear, and it hurt to see. I'd just close my eyes and lose myself in happier days. No, they said, like, there was a general consensus from what I looked up. Um, there's a general consensus from what I looked up that it, there was a lot of people saying, uh, combat in the first third is very boring and simple. And then in the second third, it's okay. And then in the last bit, it's it's uh, more in-depth. But beyond that, almost everyone said, yeah. Beyond that, everyone said, once the game hits chapter 11 or 12, I'm not sure if it was 11 or post-11, everyone said after the game reaches chapter 11, it's really good. Or not really good, but they're like, the game gets way better after chapter 11.
But supposedly chapter 11 is like 20 hours in. Um, I heard it was, like, um, I heard it was, from what I was looking at, it said, like, before that, it's basically hallway, and then at chapter 11, the game opens up, which is what made people like it. Day 11, so this was like two days ago, right? Thanks. Sorry about that. Now, who'd you say you were looking for? Pretty sure it was, uh... Two days ago, it said, was when they found the thing that we just beat up. Here goes. <laughs> oh, car. Making a wish? I could just see part of that from Maybe I was. Uh, I was hoping that tomorrow I can I was like, oh my god, it's a gif too. She'll be so mad knowing I hid it from her. Yeah, don't worry. I'll take the blame for you. It's so good. You know, you should ask for something bigger. These are wish granting fireworks, like in the stories. Stories, huh? We'll see who fulfill their focus. They become crystal and gain eternal life. <sighs> Would help if they gave you some clue about what you're supposed to do. <sighs> we'll figure this thing out. You will never be one of those monsters. <sighs> so what will I be? Crystal? Look, we'll find a nice place in the house for you. We'll set you up in a corner with lots of uh, light so you can shine. Yesterday at the store, I got us something. We <laughs> don't know much about jewelry, but I hope you like it. Stand by you, no matter what happens. I'm yours forever, Sarah. My one, my only. And I need Can to go back me? through my scenes and tidy everything up. Yes. <laughs> she said yes. <laughs> <laughs> So much of this is from so many years ago. I was talking to someone else and I was like, yeah, I used XSplit way back in the day and they're like, I've never fucking heard of that. It's like, oh. Old man. You gotta love these fireworks. They granted my wish. Your wish? Before I asked you to marry me, I wish that you would say yes. Then maybe they'll grant mine too. What's that? To have the courage to tell Lightning that I've become a lassie. Hey, our engagement is way bigger news. <laughs> Would you still oh, man, love me I if I were a crystal? <laughs> She'll be my new sister. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Babe, would you love me if I were a crystal? Whoa. <laughs> would you love me if I was an android zombie thing? No? 
All right, cutscene, I gotta get to work, so let's wrap it up. I, no, I don't know why, other than he seduced her sister. Triple deathmatch over who gets to be the pro tag. It's definitely not hope. Thank you, Snow. You will now have the option to save your game. Yeah, I knew it. Hello? Controller? Controller? There we go. Uh, no! Sarah! Spoilers! Uh, oh no! Look at this beautiful, absolute beautiful work of art. It's amazing. It, it's so good. Okar always makes the best art for uh, for our stream. He he made that uh one art too of the the Final Fantasy. Yes, but also blue chocobos exist. Yes, hello, Jigglypuff in the corner. It's art. Beautiful art. So good, I had to have it framed. And look, it's even haunted just for you, V Dubs. Oh. 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 Jigglypuff, get back to your corner. Uh, yes, of the fi the Final Fantasy eight eight chocobo art of the dance scene, haunted Jigglypuff that sucks <laughs> sucks your dick and puts you to sleep. Uh, huh, huh. does Chunners have any clips yet? Chunners, you set up your stream the other day, and then I haven't seen you play. Kappa priorities, bro. What you mean? Exactly, K.Y. God, why is it like this? Oh, oh, he's talking about Yoshi. Oh, yeah, he's talking about Yoshi. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you got hit with a schmix. Which voice of these is yours, yeah. Chunners? You coward. Try for another clip. Uh, strongest, strongest woman is Chunners. Whoops, I did not. No, 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 no. That is the wrong. No. 
bad auto plays. Let's see. There, Karen and Okar can also play clips. Let's see. VV Dubs shopping. Wow, I'm this tired of seeing really this good. fucking Okar clip. I think I'll buy one. Stop. VV Dubs shopping. I wow, did. This nut smells really good. I did. It's set to random. Look, we even had it play a, a random one the other day. Or, I mean, it just played a random one. It just played the fucking Jigglypuff clip. Okar literally only has two clips. Vivi Dubs shopping. Wow, this nut smells really good. I think I'll buy one. Don't take that out of context. Nut! How dare he? Oh! Oh! That was surprising. Nice. Oh, car literally only has two clips. Shout out commands, date range, any date, clip order, random. Capital priorities, bro. What you mean? Exactly, K-Y. Oh, oh, he's talking about Yoshi. Oh, no, he's talking right, about so Yoshi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you got hit with a schmix. I don't know what's up with the size being so tiny. It won't really matter. Uh... Oh no. What is this? Dude, it's not my fault the Chocobo's got a dumpy. <laughs> <laughs> don't repeat I said that to anyone else. <laughs> Uh, it's on brand. <laughs> on brand. All right. I'm already running late. You might have heard my alarm go off two minutes ago, so. Off we go. set up on a, on a BDSM swing. That is such a bad time to write. Hello, Tuscan and Nuku. How is Final Fantasy 13? <laughs> 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 don't, don't worry about the BDSM swing. Don't worry about it. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, well, well. Gucci to you, Tuscan and Nuku. Have a long and beautiful night. That is one more night. And you have to just leave? If not, I'm gonna cry? Hey, the 
Those who are Christ. You just put, you just put the dog. Why are you pulling the dog? The dog, leave the dog alone. <laughs> Going at it, leave it alone. What do you have for jerk food? <laughs> okay, okay. I, 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 like I said, I don't know jack or shit about 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 fetish things. Uh, is, it, is it just a weird thought? <laughs> oh, my stream.